You want to say hi to the camera? So we found this dog, and uh, or I found this dog. He didn't have a tag on him, and he doesn't seem to have a home. I'm gonna go see if he's chipped because he's not really, really friendly, really playful. But I don't know if he's someone's dog and they're looking for him. I posted him all over Facebook. I've asked like every single person I know, like, hey, I found this dog, he's super sweet, you know, does, do you want to take him home? Some of them are like, he's adorable and I want to pet him. And some of them are like, don't ever talk to me again, I thought I blocked you. I don't really want to take him to the pound because he's such a cute little doggo. So yeah, if you're in the Longview, Texas area and you want a dog, this guy is super sweet. He just needs a good home. We're gonna go see if he's just missing from his home real fast and if he's not, I don't know what to do with him after that because I really, I really don't want to just drop him off at the pound. He's a cute dog. The dog did in fact have an owner. Um, they found a chip on him and stuff. So they're holding him for the night and they're gonna contact the owner to see if they're gonna pick him up. If they pick him up by tomorrow, then he'll be good. Uh, Pitbulls get a really bad rap because of people who will um, train them to fight other dogs and different things and then people get hurt because all the dog knows how to do is fight. I think Kai's gonna be pretty bummed too because him and Kai really like lashed it out. They had a lot of fun and yeah. Well, I was trying to make light of the situation so I got Quadratech magazine. Magazine. That's what my YJ would look like if it was all original. I always look through these and never it never makes a difference. Like I never purchase anything. Another thing I got though, this is what I'm actually really excited about, because this this is gonna oh can't show that. This this is gonna be awesome. Check this out. I already know what this is, but I'm really excited about this. Ready for it? I farted. Child humor. Oh. So I don't know how I'm supposed to open this. It's from my cousin Christopher. Says he loves me. Love you too, guy. Little man. This is really cool, guys. Check this out. I already got a picture of this. I guess he was supposed to send this to me on my birthday and they forgot to send it. So I got it a little late, but watch. Isn't that cool? Look. It says happy birthday. See the square on the, what did you do? Oh, I get it. What did your dad say to your mom? See the answer on the other side of the page? I farted. Now I get it, I get the joke now. Yeah, so this whole organization thing is not working for me. I need to come up with a different system, especially for the food. That's my biggest thing. Like right now I have just bread sitting there and accessing the food is the hardest thing. But I work with what I got. So. Stinking catfish. I haven't had catfish in forever and like I never cook this stuff because I never have a reason to but I got catfish and I got crispy fried seasoned whatever this stuff is. Rinse it. 
off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. I hate that song so much. So far my least favorite thing about trying to live out of the Jeep is doing stinking dishes. I never had to do dishes in my life. Oh, the spoiled child, guys. It's not so much doing them. It's just like by the time I'm done eating, the last thing I want to do is do dishes. So then I like toss them in a bin and then I just don't do them. And then I need to eat and then I don't have dishes that are done and like adulting. It's not the funnest thing to do, but cooking's fun though. Check it out guys, the first batch. It looks so good. Terrence is gonna be so mad at me. He says I always get hungry in my videos because I always cook in them and, or eat something in them and then he gets hungry. So sorry Terrence, but I mean, that looks so good. It's gonna be hot. Oh, hot, 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 hot. Have you all seen those like videos on YouTube where they take random like, just random items they find laying around and then they turn them into music? So I know some people do it professionally where they'll just take stuff to tap it and make like these weird instruments out of it. Check this out. I don't know why I spontaneously grabbed these and I started doing it and I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make something with it. So like, watch, watch this. All I need the little love of my life. All I need the little love in the dark. A little, but I'm hoping it might kickstart me and my broken heart. I don't know what I'm doing. I thought that was pretty cool. All I need the little love in the dark. I don't want to scratch up my paint too much. Me and my broken heart. The song is probably copyrighted.